let me introduce you uh, our results of our recent work in uh, the sites of Middle Volga region, uh, which are dated to the migration period. Uh, so, first, I need to explain where is Middle Volga region. Uh, uh, so, the uh, Middle Volga region is uh, situated on the eastern part of the European subcontinent. Uh, it is uh, a comparatively large area, which is uh, uh, the eastern boundary uh, of it is Euros, the, uh, to the west of the region uh, it is uh, framed by the forests of uh, uh, central Russia. So this region uh, could be divided into several education zones, uh, according to the major types of education, so to the north is a border forest. Uh, 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 recent education in the central part of the Sibir's forest. Uh, to the south is forest steps, and then steps. So, uh, Middle Volga is a, uh, some kind of transition region, uh, transi transition region which includes several types of uh, 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 vegetation zones. Uh, uh, the relief of the region is uh, more, uh, more or less plain. Uh, the central part of it is uh, uh, ancient, it's formed by ancient terraces of Volga. Uh, and to the, uh, to the east and to the west, there are two uh, hilly, uh, hilly areas, uh, which are, uh, uh, can be used as a bounder, uh, boundaries of the territory. So, uh, for the migration period in this region, we have about 1,000 sites, uh, which are most of uh, the sites uh, led by sedentary population, different, different groups of sedentary population. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, until the recent years, most part of this uh, huge massive of population wasn't divided into some kind of the, uh, chronological or cultural groups. Only uh, for the last uh, 20 years, uh, uh, we uh, get uh, uh, enough radiocarbon dates, uh, uh, we have got enough, enough radiocarbon dates to uh, distinguish several stages and several uh, groups in a almost um, mm, uh, similar uh, cultural, uh, cultural evidence. After all, uh, it appeared that uh, this uh, Huge massive of occupation sites could be divided into several uh, several uh, different uh, cultural groups and stages, which are uh, not uh, con uh, contemporary in different parts of the region. So, uh, to explain uh, the cultural uh, dynamics in the region, I need uh, to show you two more maps. Uh, uh, the northern part uh, of the territory was populated by different uh, uh, cultures, cultural groups of Kama Finns, uh, which were probably some kind of uh, uh, primitive agriculturalists and pastor uh, uh, shepherds uh, 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 with a, a very high-scale uh, um, role of uh, hunting in their economy. To the west, uh, there was a, a small group of uh, Volga, Volga Finns. Uh, their economical system was uh, almost the same uh, uh, with the Kama Finns. Uh, so the, uh, this uh, group of population was uh, 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 the descendants of uh, the previous uh, cultures, the descendants of the previous cultural groups in this area. But the uh, migration period in the Middle Volga began with a, uh, uh, a huge migration of a uh, comparatively big group of population, which is represented by uh, about 200 uh, sites, uh, and which was probably of Slavonic origin. So uh, some kind of very Far East migration of Slavonic tribes. Uh, 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 at the same time, some other groups appeared in this territory, uh, um, and everything was, you know, 
<laughs> uh, relating with each other, communicating with each other. So it's a uh, uh, sophisticated feature of uh, cultural uh, relations. Uh, then uh, this uh, uh, picture was uh, simplified and unified. Ah, these are nomads, of course. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, uh, was uh, simplified and unified uh, in the later part of a uh, later period of migration, uh, uh, migration epoch, so in the fifth and seventh century. All these groups uh, uh, came together and uh, uh, probably were assimilated by uh, one of them. Uh, and uh, there was a, some kind of uh, migration within the region. Uh, uh, when uh, population moved from uh, Transvolga area plain, Transvolga plains to the uplands and uh, hilly, uh, yeah, hilly lands uh, on the uh, right bank of Volga and Rama. Uh, so, uh, uh, in this case, we have uh, 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 several issues concerning their reasons and the uh, types of migrations within this region. Uh, our uh, investigations provided us with uh, some data concerning the economy, uh, ec uh, economical system and uh, land use uh, patterns of this uh, population. Uh, so the earliest sites of the migration, uh, yes, uh, I forgot uh, to mention that uh, all this group uh, is um, expected to be the first plowing agriculturalists in the region. They used uh, 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 plowshares, uh, iron plowshares, and so this uh, is one of the most uh, um, rich with plowshares cultures of the uh, Eastern Europe uh, at all. So about uh, 30, uh, 30 plowshares are known from this area, so it's comparatively uh, large number. Uh, um, uh, so uh, the earliest sites of migration period tend to be uh, situated in flood plains on the banks of small rivers. Uh, the first of a very, uh, uh, very spectacular, uh, spectacular sites uh, was excavated this year and previous year on the a flat plain of Sura River on a bank of former, this channel doesn't exist uh, now, but it was, uh, this is the map of 19th century channels in the region, so it was situated on the right bank of a small uh, river. Uh, here there is a remaining of the other channel. Uh, uh, the, uh, oh, sorry, uh, several sections that were made there on the, uh, on the, um, uh, uh, exposure of the uh, bank uh, revealed that there is a, a very uh, clear uh, dark layer, dark, dark, dark soil layer, which pr uh, probably uh, uh, was formed by meadow soils. And this layer is full of the, uh, the sh uh, ceramic shards of the uh, fourth century AD. We have radiocarbon date on the opposite side of the river, the same. Uh, the same period. Look at uh, above it, we have uh, uh, several uh, alluvial sand layers which are uh, um, overlaying this, uh, uh, this op occupational surface. Even here in the some kind of dwelling pit or cesspit, I don't know, we have it in the intersection, uh, all, the, uh, all the decoration is filled with uh, alluvial sand. So it, it is probably a evidence of some kind of flood event, uh, uh, which resulted in flooding the territory of the sites over this, over this uh, meadow soil, uh, hill and hill. The upper uh, soil, upper meadow soil, is probably dated to the medieval uh, warm period. We don't know exactly. We just <laughs> just made it in July. Um, another site with a very similar. Uh, similar uh, geomorphological sec uh, uh, setting is situated on the uh, uh, far to the east, about uh, 300 kilometers to the east from the previous one. Uh, uh, this site, uh, um, it, it's an occupation site on the 
a bank of a small river near Pyrenees. Uh, so we made another section, uh, section here. Uh, oh, this is from the excavation blocks, it doesn't matter. Uh, and here in this section, we got several occupational layers. And the, uh, this uh, layer of meadow soil, another meadow soil, is dated to the probably third century AD. Uh, there are several, uh, several other uh, occupational layers. Uh, uh, Mention uh, uh, this one, please, because it is uh, dated to the fifth century, to the end of migration period, and it's full of paint points according to the Tripolis analysis. Uh, so, the results of the analysis of uh, uh, the comparement of phytolith data from the several, uh, several soils and surfaces from Pyrenees and other sites revealed that there is a group, a strong group, which is uh, uh, typical for um, uh, this one, which is typical for uh, forest uh, environment, uh, and uh, another group. Uh, which is uh, probably more uh, like meadow uh, uh, environment, looks uh, more like meadow environment. And the, uh, these layers, uh, uh, this one is uh, typical for forest environment, and this one is for meadow environment. Uh, so uh, this, uh, uh, in the late, uh, later, so uh, the uh, earlier, earlier period in, um, Middle Volga, uh, the typical type of occupation was occupation of floodplains and low banks of small rivers. Then in the fifth century, the sit situation changed dramatically. Uh, here are some uh, uh, geomorphological settings of the typical site of the sixth century AD, uh, which is, uh, consists of a uh, hill fort on a high bank, on, uh, on the edge of high terrace, uh, and uh, well, little settlement, occupational site near it, uh, the agricultural hinterland. Uh, uh, it was uh, uh, surveyed by several um, by tachyometer data, so uh, according to the dwelling pits, uh, they, are typical, uh, they are typical for this uh, culture. This is the map of the site. And here is a small uh, area near uh, living of uh, which was not disturbed by later plowing. Here we took several samples, and according to uh, these samples, it looks like a uh, Sweden agricultural hinterland on this side, uh, which is full of panicoid phytolith and pollen of deciduous forest, uh, uh, and, uh, as well as <laughs> pollen of some uh, uh, mm, uh, cereals. Uh, this is the section from the Urniak side. Uh, and, uh, so this uh, uh, setting and the high banks of uh, um, uh, terraces and the gullies uh, became typical for the sites of Middle Volga region in the 5th century AD. Another uh, example from the site of uh, this end of the migration period, uh, um, uh, migration period site is uh, from the uh, uh, right bank of Volga River, uh, which is uh, which has also a, a strong evidence of uh, erosion forced by uh, um, iron ore mining and uh, iron smelting. So at the end, uh, this uh, this is the spatial analysis of two groups, which. Uh, uh, confirms that uh, later sites, which are seen mainly on the higher banks, uh, are quite different in general political setting uh, uh, with, uh, with the earlier period. Uh, this is a series of pooling data analysis, and here we have two periods. Uh, the first one, this block, is um, dated to the uh, beginning of the migration period. And the later, uh, the uh, next block is uh, for the final uh, final stage of migration period in Middle Volga. So, uh, uh, as a con uh, then the conclusion, uh, this uh, uh, co uh, some cultural traces of uh, uh, later sites of migration period in Middle Volga uh, shows the very high level of agricultural and. Uh, um, 
iron smelting activity for the population of the region. Uh, uh, so the uh, set of agricultural implements of the later period of um, uh, Middle Volga population uh, is typical for agri uh, agriculturalists. Uh, they used uh, uh, plowing and Sweden agriculture as the basis for the, uh, their economy. Uh, 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 so this, uh, I, I skip this uh, several pictures and go to uh, this one. Uh, this economy was based on millet production, uh, uh, which is, uh, 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 this date is confirmed by pollen and fidelis analysis. In this case, uh, uh, we can compare the middle Volga, uh, middle Volga uh, uh, evidence with the evidence of uh, western part of uh, East Europe, uh, where the migration period is typical. Uh, uh, so the uh, 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 paleoth and botany uh, data is typical uh, for the migration period, uh, and it, it, typically it is uh, the millet is the main. Uh, cereal which they used to uh, cultivate. Uh, so then, uh, they, uh, during the migration period in Middle Volga, there were two main periods of uh, land use patterns. First was uh, based on floodplains exploitation, uh, and probably on, uh, I haven't mentioned it because I, I'm out of time, but uh, the uh, more pastoralist and low scale agricultural economy. But the, uh, the later period, uh, econ the uh, economy of the later period population was based on Sweden agriculture and high, uh, high scale exploitation of the landscapes, which forced to uh, uh, dramatic erosion processes, uh, um, incision of valleys, and so on. Uh, this economy system was very, very effective and was effective enough to, uh, uh, to um, lead to uh, uh, a demographic uh, increase, a dramatic demographic increase in population, but it was not, uh, it was not um, um, uh, sustainable. Uh, and uh, after the, some kind of climate changes and uh, maybe the beginning of medieval uh, warm period, it turns to, uh, uh, it ceased to exist because uh, probably uh, the, uh, uh, the um, permanent migrations of population according to their Sweden slash and burn system was not, uh, was not uh, possible uh, after some changes in the deciduous forest zone of Eastern Europe. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much.